Still's murmur is usually best heard at the lower left sternal border. However, this is not always the case. In some patients, the point of maximal intensity may be closer to the area where the pulmonary flow murmur is best heard. The cervical venous hum is the only innocent murmur that may be best heard above the clavicles. Radiation of Still's murmur and the cervical venous hum can be minimal. Nonetheless, radiation to the apex of the heart is more suggestive of a Still's murmur. Radiation to the back or axilla doesn't occur with those two innocent murmurs and is thus helpful for identifying a pulmonary flow murmur. The cervical venous hum is the only one of these innocent murmurs to have a diastolic component. Unlike with Stell's murmur and the pulmonary flow murmur, the systolic component of the cervical venous hum has a plateau configuration. The quality of each of these murmurs is different. Stell's murmur can be described as musical or twangy, the pulmonary flow murmur as blowing, and the cervical venous hum as rough or roaring. The pulmonary flow murmur is the only one of these innocent murmurs that has a high pitch, and thus is best heard with the diaphragm of the stethoscope. The other two are better heard with the bell. Hyperkinetic circulatory states increases the intensity of each of these murmurs. However, laying down increases the intensity of Stills murmur and pulmonary flow murmur, while the opposite, standing up, increases the intensity of the cervical venous hum. Furthermore, the cervical venous hum is usually better heard with chin elevation and contralateral rotation of the head, that is, turning the head to the side away from the murmur. The falsava maneuver decreases the intensity of all of these murmurs. The intensity of these murmurs can be decreased by performing the opposite of the aforementioned maneuvers, for example, standing up for Stills murmur or laying down for cervical venous hum. However, only the cervical venous hum can be obliterated by applying digital pressure over the internal jugular vein.